Have you ever wondered why sounds are different underwater compared to when you are above the surface of the water? Why do you think the sound of cars and trucks is louder during summer than it is during the colder months? In this video, we will be discussing the concept of sound. So what is sound? All sounds are produced by vibrations. When you pluck a guitar string, it vibrates and produces a sound. When the wind blows through a tree, the leaves vibrate and produce a rustling sound. When sound waves reach your ears, the waves cause your eardrums to vibrate. Sound is a form of mechanical wave. This means that sound requires a medium so that it can be transported from one location to another. A medium is anything that allows the transfer of energy. In our topic, these include solid, liquid, and gas. This is the reason why we can see the bright stars at night, but have never heard how they sound like. As mentioned, sound needs a medium to travel, and since space is close to vacuum, which is an empty space, sound is hardly heard. Sound cannot travel through vacuum. Alright, so let's do this activity. Place your ear against one end of a tabletop. Ask a friend to gently tap the other end of the table with a pencil or a ruler. Observe what happens. Then, ask your friend to gently tap the other end of the table, but this time, make sure that your ear is not touching the table. Observe and compare what you heard from the first position. In which situation did you encounter louder and more pronounced sound? Sound travels as a wave of mechanical vibrations through a medium. In this activity, you heard a louder sound when the table was tapped while your ear is against its surface than when your ear was not touching the table. This shows that sound waves can travel through wood or solid and even in air. Try to recall the molecular arrangement of the molecules of solid, liquid, and gas. Generally, the bond strength between molecules is strongest in solid materials and is weakest in gases. Thus, sound waves travel faster in solids than in liquids and faster in liquids than in gases. This is the reason why sounds underwater are different compared to above the surface. Since the medium underwater is liquid and the medium above the surface of the water is gas. Remember when I mentioned that the sound of cars and trucks is louder during summer than it is during colder months? That's because temperature also affects the speed of sound. Sound just like heat is a form of kinetic energy. The speed of sound is directly affected by the temperature of the medium. At higher temperatures, particles have more kinetic energy, and thus particles vibrate faster. And when particles vibrate faster, there will be more collisions per unit time. With more collisions per unit time, energy is transferred more efficiently resulting in sound traveling faster. Sound travels at about 331 meters per second in dry air at 0 degrees Celsius. The speed of sound is dependent on temperature of the medium, where an increase is observed with an increase in temperature. This means that at temperatures greater than 0 degrees Celsius, Speed of sound is greater than 331 meters per second by an amount of 0 0.6 meters per second over degree Celsius multiplied by the temperature of the medium. In equation form, speed of sound is equal to 331 meters per second plus 0 0.6 meters per second over degree Celsius times temperature. Thus, in equation, speed of sound is equal to 331 meters per second plus 0 0.6 meters per second in every degree Celsius 
times temperature, where V is the speed of sound. T is the temperature, 331 meters per second and 0 0.6 meters per second are constant factors. Let's try calculating for the speed of sound. What is the speed of sound from a fire truck passing by the street in front of your house during summer with the temperature of 39 degrees Celsius? So, we have the formula speed of sound is equal to 331 meters per second plus 0 0.6 meters per second in every degree Celsius times temperature. The given temperature is 39 degrees Celsius. We can cancel out similar units such as the degree Celsius. 0 0.6 meters per second times 39 is equal to 23.4 meters per second. 331 meters per second plus 23.4 meters per second equals 354.4 meters per second. Now remember, sound is a form of mechanical wave and is produced by vibrations. Propagation of sound is affected by its medium, while the speed of sound is affected by the temperature of its medium. That's all for now! Stay tuned for part 3 of this series about light. See you on our next video and don't forget to keep your minds busy! If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification icon for more videos like this.